Hello everyone, I'm excited. After waiting just a little over a month, I finally have my comic books back from CGC. I actually think it's not all of them. I sent 10 comic books to CGC. Those of you that have either watched a little bit of the channel or have seen my Instagram, I not only collect trading cards, the Persian Pack Daddy loves trading cards, but really one of my biggest loves is comic books, especially Spawn, and well, I figured it was time to finally send some comics out, finally time to use my CGC account, and that's what I did. I'm gonna open up this box, I'm gonna go over what I sent with you guys. I'm really excited. This is, I've waited so long to be able to send some of my comic books over to CGC. They are just killing it with these modern times so far. I mean, I think they just recently said that it should take 30 days for modern comics, which is a very quick turnaround. 11 days if you do it express. That's just insane. Uh, just a little heads up, all these comic books, none of them were pressed. To seasoned comic collectors, you're going, dude, come on, none. And yeah, you're right, none. I should, I should have probably done some. And uh, some of the grades here definitely uh, yeah, they could have been better. Some of them were so close. So close. I really wish that they were they were different. We're going to start off with uh, my lowest graded book of this lot. Man, and it, it physically hurts. I, I know exactly the one. I can see it right now. Ugh. This one's not even, not even worth maybe but what it was graded for. Ugh. Alrighty. We have a King Spawn number one. This is the second printing. This one was the GameStop exclusive. Uh, it's a pretty good looking comic. The cover's not really for me. Not one I really like. But man, this, this grade hurts. Boom. An 8.5. I mean... Wow, you could not talk about just being punched in the gut. I kind of knew that this one was a stretch. Uh, when If you ordered these comics from GameStop, they had some issues. And so, most notably, they were shipped in probably the flimsiest possible things I've ever seen comics ship in. I mean, the backboard for this was just paper thin almost. And... They didn't even put these in like Gemini mailers. They had the gall to put this in just a bubble mailer. So I received four or five of these. This one I actually thought was one of my nicer ones. I thought I could get by without having it pressed, but no. Yeah, this one is, uh, yeah, that's, <laughs> yikes. I, it is just, that, that one hurt. Anyway, this is the lowest. It's all uphill from here. That one had a few issues. I think one of them was some pretty heavy creasing. Let's look. Alrighty. My second lowest. Here we go. This one is my Spider-Man number 26. It's a good looking comic. Uh, overall, I thought it was fine. I thought it definitely was near mint. Uh, but no, this one did have an issue with it uh, specifically. But bam, a 9 type issue. It said that there was some, some scratching on the hologram a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. I really couldn't see much. But I'm okay with this. Spider-Man is not really my jam. I'm more than happy to get rid of this. It's just one of the ones I picked up on a whim. I have quite a few of these. It actually, I don't know if it'll pick up very well. In this corner, there is a very hard dent that definitely didn't help. But yeah, Spider-Man. Again, not really my cup of tea. Glad to have it. I'm going to get rid of it. Hopefully be able to flip it into something else I actually enjoy. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. All right, here we go. Here's a... Ooh, oh, this one has my order form in it. Let me pull that order form out first. Let's move this over. Don't want any of my details getting leaked out. Okay. 
Here we go. I'm just going to take this one out of the bag. I'm going to start taking them out of the bag for y'all. I mean, it looks good. I'll tell you that much. We have Venom Funeral Pyre, number one. I mean, this comic looks great. And I think it said it had some light creasing on the spine. Uh, I don't know what they're necessarily talking about. You can tell a lot of these would have benefited from a good cleaning and pressing. That is my mistake. Uh, it's something I'm going to rectify. But there we go. It's a good looking book. And the 9.2 says it's pretty decent looking as well. Uh, this is the direct edition. It's not anything crazy special. Uh, it just has a Punisher appearance and a holographics cover. It's a good looking cover though. I mean, so there's that. Let's put it back in its bag. It's another one I'm going to get rid of. Uh, I'll have my eBay link down in the, uh, down in the description below. These will be going up pretty quickly. Some of them will at least. Some of them I am keeping. Uh, you'll definitely see which one I'm keeping and is getting pressed and will be sent. <laughs> We're getting to the painful ones now. Man. Okay. This one. We have Spider-Man number one. Gold printing. Todd McFarlane. I mean, this is just one of those iconic covers by Todd McFarlane. He really changed up the game. If you're a Spider-Man buff... You, you know what he did to Spider-Man. We owe him a lot. Uh, sadly, let me pull this bad boy out for you guys so you can see it just a little better. It's a pretty good looking book overall. Not much is wrong with it. But what is wrong with it and noted by CGC, because this one actually came with notes, it had rippling to the cover. And how did I not notice this? That is because this was in a stack of comics I bought pretty much sight unseen. I just saw it in a couple photos and I mean it looked beautiful in its Mylar bag. But this goes to show you, Mylar bags are so nice and they make books look so good, they can deceive the eye a little bit. So boom, without being pressed, it is a 9-4. This is easily a pressable comic. I mean, I really, some of these needed just a press and their grade would have been so much better. But yeah, this is the second printing. Uh, it has appearance by Lizard. S again, Spider-Man is just not my jam. I love Todd McFarlane though, so I was happy to pick this up. Uh, I'm not gonna keep it for the PC. So this one is gonna go up on my eBay. So let's move over into the next one. We're about to start getting over into my forte. The rest of these, these are books, these are books I know and I know well. One of them has been super, I was very excited to finally get one, but yeah, the story is going to come with it. All right, I'm going to take this one out. I'm going to cover up the number. All right, guys. This is Spawn Fan Edition number one this bad boy is gorgeous i mean <sighs> i love the cover and the hollow spawn foil on the name the gold foil oh it's gorgeous so this is the first appearance of vandalizer and nordic the norse hell spawn uh with the gold foil logo so i've learned pretty quickly this is an annoying comic why is this an annoying comic? Because the gold foiling, I can't really show you guys, is flecked pretty bad. Very difficult to deal with. It, it'll get scratches super easy, it's very weak. The book itself is amazingly thin. I mean, this is one of the thinnest comic books I own. Uh, the paper, as soon as you felt it, you knew the quality on this thing was low, low, low. But I was happy to have it. Sadly, when I got it graded, it got the 9.4. I, I wish this one was higher. Um, I might send this back eventually, but I'm going to probably get a few more of these to send in for grading. See if I can find one with a better gold foiling on the name. This one, like I said, has a couple scratches, and that, that might have hurt the grade a little bit. This one didn't come with grader's notes, unfortunately, but 
I mean, what's crazy too is it has some spine stress that is like obvious spine stress. It is not the prettiest book I own by far. In fact, it even has some dents and divots here and there, which is unfortunate because I think this is a pretty loose book. But yeah, it's... It is not what I expected. Let's hop into the next one. So that one is, I really wanted to get this one on a high grade. It's pretty decent grade, a 9.4, you know, not anything too bad. Now this one hurts. I can see it and I don't even want to pull it out. Um, so Todd McFarlane, our boy, one of my favorite comic book artists of all time. Uh, decided to drop on the world an awesome new character. Well, not necessarily new, basing an entire series off of him, and that is Gunslinger, Gunslinger Spawn. And I like the idea of Gunslinger Spawn. I like what Todd was going at. If you watch any of his interviews, he said, I really want to create a character. He's in the universe of Spawn, but I don't want them to call him Spawn. Spawn is Spawn. When you reference Gunslinger, Todd McFarlane wanted you to reference Gunslinger, not necessarily Gunslinger Spawn. So, in wanting to support him, I saw what covers there were. Uh, obviously, I didn't get any of the crazy signed covers he did with CGC, uh, maybe one day. I did see the Greg Capullo variant, the sketch variant, and I, I managed to get one, and I had it graded. But boy, I mean, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous cover. It is a good looking book. It's a thick book. It's not, not an ugly book at all. I love the art on this. This thing is gorgeous. But unfortunately, the grade, 9-4. I, I bet you if I get this thing pressed and send it back, I'll be A-OK. -okay. This will be in so much better shape with a good press. Man, that is just unfortunate. I feel like this grade is likely wrong. Uh, it's more of a 9.6. I mean, the edges are pretty good. It's a good, it's a really good looking book. I mean, eyeing this one, it's a good book. I mean, this one does have some defects, not necessarily in the book, but I'm looking at the CGC holder, and it looks like it's got a few Newton rings here and there, but that's fine. You know, that happens. I'm not going to send it back to CGC and freak out over it, but that's what we're dealing with. We got a 9-4 in Gunslinger Spawn. I'm, I'm sure actually it's a 9-4. It might not even be worth its holder. This one might get cracked and sold raw. Or I might press it and then try my luck one more time. Like I said, good looking book. Love to support Todd. Uh, I really wanted this in a high grade. Pretty much I want all my spawns in a high grade. Let's be honest. I Like I said, I'm a spawn junkie, okay? So there's that. All right, now we're getting to the fun ones. I'm very happy with these. You'll see why. One of them I'm like happy, but not happy for. And uh, that's my that's my biggest book. You'll have to watch to the end. At the end has a crazy book I did not expect. Okay, so what do we have here? We have the sketch cover of King Spawn number one, another Greg Capullo art variant. This I'm excited to say got the coveted 9.8. Yep. We got it, but we didn't only get it this time for that comic. We also got another Grey Capullo King Spawn number one, 9.8. That is awesome. So I'm rocking two of these beautiful covers in a 9.8. I am ecstatic. I'm happy to have these. These are still really low numbered on the CGC census. Uh, I, from what I saw, it looks like less than a hundred of these are in a 9.8. I'm very happy to have both of these in the collection. Um, I'll probably keep one and I will likely list the other. Uh, I, I really want to send it off, whichever one I keep, to go to the Todd McFarlane signing and get regraded. But since they were just graded and I've already incurred that cost, I don't know if I want to incur more. But Anyway, now we're on to the last book. I'll, I'll sleeve these back up in a moment. This, this last book is very important. Very important. So, 
in collecting for I'm just prefacing this for people that aren't you know really into comic book collecting there are technically two types of comic books mm, roughly up until about maybe the early 2000s I, I don't necessarily know the time point but I know this is something you should be cognizant of there are direct copy comic books meaning you would buy them from your local comic book store your LCS and then there are these things called newsstands. Newsstands have a barcode instead of like a little character box. Uh, if you look earlier in the video and you look in the lower right hand corner, or sorry, lower, that'd be your, my lower right hand corner, your lower left hand corner of the comic book, you'll see a little image and it looks like a barcode could be there. That's where the newsstand barcode would be. In this specific issue, Spawn number one came out in both a direct edition and a newsstand copy. My wife and I, when I started up this hobby of comic book collecting, went to a local shop and I saw the Spawn number one newsstand that was just beautiful. I mean, this book is near mint, near mint plus, it was so beautiful. I had to have it. I bought it on the spot. I graded it. We're about to see the grade. And keep in mind, this is not pressed. So I'm telling you right now, this beautiful, gorgeous book needs to be pressed. It got a 9.6. We were so close. I mean, this book is wow. I mean, this is a beautiful book. And what's funny is that 9.6, oof, that is, ah, oh God, it's right on the bleeding edge. It is such a good looking book. I just, ooh, I mean, a newsstand spawn, no press, and it got the 9.6. What a, I'm happy to have this in my collection. I love spawn. He's the man. He is by far one of my favorite comic book characters but dear lord this is this this was gut-wrenching to me i mean the bag looks good it's just gut-wrenching because it's so close to have a spawn newsstand 98 would be amazing in my collection since it's very early in its infancy but beggars can't be choosers i'm very happy with what i have uh, I'm definitely going to send this one. This one is going to be sent to a professional presser. It's going to be cleaned as much as they can. Whatever. I will pay whatever price they say if I can get that 9.8. I really, really want that 9.8. I'm glad to see that it uh, has the universal grade and have a qualified label. One of the things you should always check on in Spawn, guess what? There is a beautiful pullout in these. It's a pinup by there's a pit pin up by del neon and spawn Ki, kion kion I, i'm sorry dale and spawn pin up by george perez it's a full pull out spawn poster people would like to tear those out of these books anyway that's it guys that is what i have so we have a nine six some nine eight some nine fours a nine oh and an eight five i i'm ecstatic this is my first CGC submission. It went well. Uh, probably better than it should have. The moral of this story, before I let you guys go, have your comic books pressed. It can mean the difference. These were all raw books. None of them pressed. I didn't press a single one. And you can tell some of them were really close and the grade difference could have been right there. Especially in this book. Hundreds of dollars left on the table. This needs the press. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I greatly appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Uh, leave a like if you liked it. Leave a dislike if you disliked it. I'm happy to share my hobbies with you guys, and I look forward as I continue on in both uh, Pokemon collecting, Yu-Gi-Oh collecting, and comic book collecting to share these adventures with you guys. If I pick anything up or pick any extra up that I think that you guys would like, I'm more than happy to show all of you. And with that said, I'm just going to let you guys go, and I'll see you in the next one.